Hello, Nightlight! It's Jackie Minostra, your children's pastor, and I just want to say Merry Christmas! Christmas dance party! All right, but in all seriousness, Today, we are continuing our series, The Big God Story. You see, up until this point, we know that in the beginning, it was all God, it was all good, but then it all broke, and all of creation was waiting for a rescuer. This special plan to take away our sin, to fix our broken hearts, and to fix the broken world. That's where we are in the story tonight. We are talking about the rescuer, and as you can see from my outfit and all the decorations in my room, we are celebrating something that has to do with Christmas. So friends, let's jump in and take a look. You see, Christmas time wouldn't be complete without some presents, so I have some presents here that I've been waiting to dig into. Are you ready? Let's go for it. The first present. What? Mary and Joseph. You see, Mary and Joseph were Jesus's parents. Super duper important people in this story. They listened to God and they obeyed God and they traveled far, far, far away. And just when it was time to have the baby, Jesus was born. Emmanuel, God with us, the rescuer was here. This is what the Bible says. In the book of Matthew, if you want to turn there with me, Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 says this, Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. You see, this week we've been talking a lot about how God is with us. When we're afraid, when we're scared, when we're sick, he is always with us. And Jesus, he was the main plan. He was the way for God to be with us. You see, God sent his son Jesus to earth as a tiny little baby so that he would walk on earth with people just like us, healing them and healing their broken hearts and then when it was time, he would go to the cross and he would die on the cross and rise again and he would take away all of our sin. He was here to fix the brokenness of all people. He is Emmanuel, God with us. I'm gonna put him down because he's a little baby. And our last present of the night, you see God with us was finally here. Emmanuel, God's rescue plan and if there's something that I've learned about Jesus and learned about God, it's when I spend time with him, I get to know more and more about him. I am his friend. I get to learn more about his heart for other people, how he cares for you and me. Um, I get to more, know more about him, how he is strong and beautiful and amazing and the most incredible creator. And he actually has a pretty funny sense of humor. So when you spend time with God, you get to know him more and more. And there were some people who spent time with Jesus after he was born. Those were the three kings and the shepherds, right? An angel came to the shepherds and told them to go worship Jesus. And they traveled so far to meet this tiny little baby, the rescuer, God with us, so that they could spend time with him and worship him. And we know that the three kings, they traveled super far too. And they brought presents of worship to worship this tiny little baby, Emmanuel, God with us. See, we know in the big God story that in the beginning, it was all God, it was all good, but then it all broke. But we also know that the story isn't over yet. From the very beginning of time, when God made Adam and Eve and they cho chose to disobey God, God had a plan, a way to bring his creation back to him, a way for his creation to be with him now and forever. And that plan was Jesus, the great rescuer, Emmanuel, God with us. You see, God loves you so much that he did not want to be separated from you. In fact, the Bible tells us that nothing can separate us from God's love for us. 
You see, God sent his son Jesus as payment for your sins and for my sins, for all of the sins that we've done in our past and all of the sins that we will do in the future. God loves you so much that he did not want to be apart from you. And that's why I think Jesus' name, Emmanuel, is so perfect. Emmanuel means God with us. God is with you and God is with me. Look for ways this week that you can see that God is with you because he is. Maybe if you feel like he isn't, pray and ask him to show himself to you, to show ways that he is always with you. Remember, God knows you, loves you, and he wants to guide you. He cares for you. God is with you. All right, have fun tonight with your families doing all the activities. Don't forget to post them and tag Beach Point Kids. I can't wait to see how you guys celebrate Christmas tonight at home. Bye. Okay, say, I am with you always. With you always. Matthew? Matthew. 28? 28. 20. 20. Good job! Get candy. <laughs> Get candy. We don't have any candy. Get candy. <laughs>